What is going on you guys? Jacob Ryder Doty here back from another vlog and today we have some maintenance to do because I'm about 200 miles over my oil change. Now I know I usually do Amsoil, but since I'm over and I don't wanna deal with ordering and all that, I just went to the local Walmart and grabbed Mobile One. I've read online that that's about the same stuff. So I'm just gonna go with that and we'll see if it makes any difference. If I start getting a tick, my car doesn't have a tick or that coyote tick that everyone talks about. So we'll see, but I did have cars all in here. Our house starts to look like a dealership. So I got them all lined up. Now we're gonna have to start this thing, let it warm up, and then put it up on wood blocks, get it up on jack stands, and begin working on it. I wanna do another thing, which I've mentioned before, which is paint this radiator. I don't know if you guys could see that, but I'm gonna paint the radiator black. I have satin black, and I'll show you what I'm gonna use for that. Boop, ow, my wrist still hurts. All right, so first we gotta take off the bumper and then we can start the oil change stuff, but I just gotta pop all these little clips out, which are really easy. And we'll keep them over here. Come on, the magnet in this thing blew out. Need to get a new one of those. So now that the top is all done, we just have this one in the fender liner. So it's this right here, but also my splitter is chassis mounted. So I gotta take that out, which I should be able to reach under there now that I have this room. So that shouldn't be a problem, but I'm just gonna knock that stuff out. So I figured this might actually be pretty cool to you guys. I wanna know how this uh, chassis mounted splitter really is connected. In case you guys miss it, it's up in here. Let me get you guys a little light. So right there, you can see how it has this bracket connected in. So that's how it's chassis mounted. It's super stiff. So I gotta disconnect that because honestly, that's what's holding on my entire bumper right now. Once we get that handled, we'll be good to go. Should be pretty much everything and it should pop right out. Just like that. Which I should have taped that off. One of the things I did do is I taped off the fender. I do this every time I pop off the bumper just because sometimes this will like flop up and slap it. So I did that on this side as well. You just kind of after everything's disconnected, you can just pop it. Be careful of your clips and this. And then really, this is what's holding it on. So we gotta be careful. Let's hold on. There it goes, hanging loose. It'll sort of fall. And we have to disconnect our side markers that I forgot. Well, I'm holding it all one-handed. Total fail. Ugh. Don't want to yank these cables. <clears throat> Come on, pop out. Oh yeah, there we go. <sighs> Bumper landed. So now we have this all available to be painted, which I'll probably do a quick brush and clean on just to get all the bugs off or else we're gonna have bugs stuck in there. Then I'll do a quick mask, make sure all this stuff is covered. And then yeah, should be looking a lot better without that nice and silver. Come on, oil drop cloth. Works pretty good. Keeps most of the oil off the ground. There we go. Apparently I did that a little tight. Make sure we can catch it. So the trick with this that I found, I'm gonna try it, is if you push up against it as you're undoing it, then once it really gets loose, you could just pop it down quick and hopefully no mess. Wow, that's actually the first time I tried that and it worked really well. The next part is to get to the oil filter, you have to bust all these off, or I think at least like three of them or something. Nine Newton meters removed for oil service. So it's these, one, whatever, however many of these are. And then your oil filter's right in there. We can do this one just as clean as we did our other one, which was uh, the drain plug. We can make not a big mess out of this. That would be awesome, but we're gonna freaking see if that happens. Please, no big mess. Oh man, I do not want to have to clean up oil. It's like the worst. <sighs> Come on. There it goes. Oh no, it fell through. Oh no. I think I got it. Oh, yeah. The bag's a mess, the gloves are a mess, but we came out on top, baby. Here's the stuff I'm using this time. 
I've got just the standard Motocraft oil filter. Apparently this one's really good besides the Ford Performance one. And then we just got the classic full synthetic Mobile One 5W20. That's what it says on my fuel or my oil cap, excuse me. So I'm just gonna put that on there and we should be good to go. I also have a JLT oil separator thing or oil catch can, so I'm gonna clean that out as well. But yeah, I'm gonna put the drain plug back in obviously and then start to fill her up with eight quarts of nice synthetic oil. The drain bolts back in there. Now let's see what the damage is on the JLT here. I know this thing is very common uh, for mods as far as NA Coyotes go and boosted, but this thing just catches, I guess, all of the oil that goes bypassed into the head. So we're gonna just see what we've got going on here. There we go. Pretty good amount. Let's go ahead and empty her out. So this is five quarts. We'll just pour this whole thing in there. Okay, now I'm happy with that. Make sure we didn't spill too much everywhere. A couple little drops on this uh, tube. Go right there for the oil, not dripping out the bottom. Close up the cap. Here's what I'm gonna use. It's this radiator black in satin finish. Here's the before, which looks pretty close to that. And then here's the after, which will be nice and clean. I'm just gonna follow the instructions on here, clean it off with some rubbing alcohol, mask off some of the stuff on the sides, and then we're just gonna hit it up and spray it. And I'll show you guys some of the process and the after. This is actually three coats deep. I did all three coats. Looks a lot better and I have it all masked off. So it's been about 30 minutes, dropped off the oil and recycled it. So what we're gonna do is start to peel off the masking and put everything back together because it's starting to sprinkle out there and I wanna get this whole thing wrapped up before it really starts to like pour down rain. Got the bumper back on and definitely makes a big difference up front. Makes it a lot darker. Had to have my girlfriend help me because I had to plug in all the, or she plugged in all the lights. She did a great job, so thank you, babe. But also the bumper was not wanting to go on, so it took a little finagle, but we got her on. Alrighty, so we have everything back together and it's it's all just down on the ground. I took it off the jack stands and everything, but we are fighting the rain a little bit. I need to start it up, check the oil level, make sure there isn't a tick, or at least it didn't start the Coyote tick because I didn't have that before. But taking a look at the front end, it looks a whole lot better. I mean, it darkened that whole grill or like the uh, the radiator side. It's gonna look a lot better in pictures as well. I just think it just, it, it's basically like blacking out your headlights. It makes a big difference, but it's a small change and it just makes it look a lot more aggressive and I don't have all those bent fins and all that really like glaring out at me. Another look at the front end there. And then I'm just gonna let this warm up for a bit, but. Now I'm not hearing any ticking or any like clattering or anything like that. So it seems like this was a good oil change. I'm gonna let it get up to temp and then we'll check the oil level. While it's warming up, I figured I should also finally install this. Plus I never really de-masked uh, it because I don't know, I always thought I was gonna revisit it. Maybe in the future I will, but we're gonna, oh man, the masking tape is so old and so hard. I really hope it doesn't screw this. Hopefully it's not gonna get bad, but it's it's like so rock hard. Ow! Got under my freaking fingernail. Putting in work with the tweezers. She had it all nice and nailed down. Again, my nail, this thing is screwed. Look at that, bleeding out there. Just stings. My nails are good. <laughs> and she's got her little Christmas nails, so she's the one I had the idea to use the tweezers. She has the good call on that one because she's getting a lot further than I was. So I didn't actually stick this back on. We peeled off for the Ford Racing back there. I'm not entirely happy with how that turned out. My goal eventually, because that thing is kind of difficult, well, it's super difficult to paint. I want to have that professionally repainted and uh, that way it'll really pop under the engine bay. But I did my best and honestly from like this far out or you know a couple feet out, it'll look pretty good. Just some of the edges are not so strong on this, but on this, really good. My girlfriend did that, that's why, and I did that one. So that probably is why that one did that. But we got the oil changed, the radiator blacked out, so the grill looks nice and everything is all wrapped up without making a major spill and no ticks, so all good to go. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up right here. I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you did, then please comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.